So let's get right to your top story at three. Developing now at three, Miami-Dade Fire Rescue saving an elderly woman who got stuck in a collapsed floor. That building no longer safe for residents and Local 10's Leanne Morahone is joining us live. She's in Miami with more on this rescue. Leanne? And you can see that the residents that were calling this duplex home can no longer do so. That's because there's now a sign outside the door calling this an unsafe structure. There's also some tape in front of that gate. There is no going inside. And we're told that the residents, uh, one of whom was a 96 year old woman and then a family of five in the second unit, they are now out. But let's tell you about how this happened. These are some photos that show exactly what happened today. And according to the city of Miami Fire Rescue, they say that they came out after getting a call for help. And 96 year old woman inside one of these units actually was inside. She was getting a visit, we're told, uh, by a home health care worker. That's when she literally stepped through the floor uh, up ab until about her thigh area and her leg just went through that bottom floor. They were able to remove her safely, but you can see in some of these photos uh, that there was a wall that was cracked, uh, severely cracked, and also that floor which gave way underneath her. Uh, those were deemed to be unsafe at this building, which is at 921 Southwest 12th Avenue in Little Havana. Uh, so the building department came out. They did request um, that they, or, I'm sorry, the fire rescue department actually asked for a building the building department to come out and look into the structural integrity. They're the ones that determined that this was an unsafe structure. So back out live, I can tell you that that elderly woman we understand is now staying with her landlord and that family of five is staying with a relative until they can get uh, other arrangements set up. We are working to get in touch with that landlord to find out why the building was in such condition and what he's doing to help these residents. We're live in Little Havana. I'm Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News. All right, Leanne, thank you. And